Hi, I'm Johan Martinson, and <clears throat> I'm here to speak about, uh, talk to you a bit about uh, writing tests super fast and legacy systems. So, when working with those, uh, we often want to refactor uh, because, um, well, it's uh, it's shitty code, or at least it wasn't um, meant to accommodate the kind of things we want to do with it right now. Uh, but we can't do this refactoring without tests. Well, uh, we'd want to do them with tests, um, but that takes a considerable, considerable amount of time, and it can be considered too long. So, as an example, I've got a, a small application of about 200 lines of code taken from the legacy code retreat. It's a, a simulation of a trivia game. 200 lines of code takes quite a bit of time to cover. Um, you can see some intricate log logic here. Um, but what about if we could do that a lot faster? Say I can cover this with explanations in five minutes. Wouldn't that be a game changer? So um, cheat. I'm just cheating a bit here. So this is the original state. Um, so I'm going to dive into this and write that test. And I'm going to call that lockdown because I'm basically going to freeze all the outputs uh, of this algorithm. So what am I, am I going to call here? I can't call main because it, it, it init, instantiates a randomizer which I can't control and I cannot have repeatable tests. Um, so what I will be doing is I'll uh, test almost all of it by extracting a method. This needs to be public. Now I'm going to call that game runner play game with a randomizer. And I'm going to use a fixed seed so that I get repeatable results. Right. Uh, now I want to assert something. For that I need to have some kind of result. An easy way of doing that is just to return the game. And if I do that I can basically save that state, serialize it and assert on it. So I've run my test. The test is failing, so it's launching a diff between the reference, which I don't have yet because it's the first time I run it, and the result. This is a two string of, of uh, game. So because existing code is the truth, I just prove that without even looking at it. So now I have a test when I run it, it's it's great. See? How about code coverage? Hmm. Seventy five percent. So let's look, have a look at that. Right, so there are pretty big parts that are not covered. Um, in order to cover that I need to uh, launch the, the application with different arguments. I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to launch generate many games with a different randomizer. Um, let's extract that one. 
let's collect the results in the list. So those are games. And then I want to exercise that many times. Let's say 10. import list um, games add I'm gonna store all the results plug in random great and now I can do this kind of assertion I need to do another one so this is approvals verify or because it's a collection, I need a label and games. Oh, um, sorry, no. remove the main part. Fine. So now I still have that first game, which is still the same. And I've got another nine here. It's the truth, so I just approve that. Okay, so let's look at the code coverage now. It's bumped up quite a bit. Let's have a look. So basically everything is covered except for this method which is actually did code. Right, cool. Uh, I don't know how much time that took but it didn't take long. And Well, just to be sure, um, we've got code coverage but are we actually verifying anything here. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's have a look at, I don't know, let's change this one. Oh, fail test. Cool. Um, back to green. So let's uh, comment out some piece of code here. Alright, fail again. So yeah, I mean, we could test everything, but basically it really locks down the code in only five lines flat. And then it's really, I find that really cool. Um, but now if you want to find out about more about approval tests, which I really recommend, uh, just go here. There's a lot of resources. resources. And my hobby with a friend of mine, Remy Saint-Laville, uh, has been for a few months to, to use this kind of technique on legacy systems. Um, because there is a real potential in this. And so if you want to see what we have uh, found out about how and how to adapt and how to use this with many many untestable dependencies, uh, side effects, etc. Uh, please come to this great conference where we will be giving a talk or to this awesome conference for developers uh, in Romania where we will be running a two-hour workshop or yet again just chip into this blog and comment on any of the posts here or I'd really love to hear from you. Well, um, thank you for listening and uh, I hope to hear from you.